Hi everyone, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. So let me give you guys an update. Uh, right now it's Monday morning. And if you look, you had another negative candle. So that doesn't really look good. It just doesn't. Um, you look at the monthly... Was again broke down and let me show you what this is. Hold on, let's look at it from here. Um, let's go back. And let's go back on the monthly here. Okay. Anyway, so we have that. Um, now, <coughs> we do have a breakdown on the monthly. If you want some kind of reversal... You want the candle to be above like $19,500 or something. Basically, later, uh, you see how you have this line and then it broke down, right? You need by the end of this month for it to turn green and go above 19,000, like around 19,500. Do I think that's likely? No. Anything's possible, but I doubt it. Okay. Here, this is back in 2017. You have this price action. It broke. That's the first month, second month, third month of red, whatever. Okay. Uh, obviously, you know, nothing ever repeats itself. Ex well, you can never say never, but in general, things don't repeat itself exactly the same. But can something like that play out? Something similar, yes. Now, let's look at the weekly. You had a big red candle, then a weak red candle, but still red. Here we had, you know, like two reds, a green, and two reds, and then a reversal, right? Um, can something like that play out? Well, it can. Once again, it doesn't repeat itself exactly the same, but, you know, things rhyme, right? And so right now, you have a lot of other exchanges. Uh, they don't look good. They don't. They're really struggling here. So, you know, I mean, you could look at all the previous videos and, you know, basically, yeah, uh, I still expect prices to go down more than it would to go up. Remember, FTX is just one. You have other exchanges. They're crashing. Um... I still expect interest rates to go up. Uh, lots of companies are going to be firing jobs. Because what you would expect is when Biden said you don't have to pay your student loans, you don't have to pay your, your um, rent, I'm going to give you st stimulus checks. All people did is the money that they would have spent on rent and spin, um, and student loans and and the free money that they got, they they're buying a lot of products and services. Well, if companies are buying, if the companies have to hire new people to provide the services and to sell the products or to handle the products, well, now all that purchasing power is gone. 
Well, now the companies are going to have to fire the people that they hired. On top of that, they're going to have to fire more people than they hire because the economy is in, it's even in worse shape. And that's going to drag. And so more people are going to probably be forced to sell their homes, sell stocks, sell cryptos. With the exchanges going down, the Fed fighting um, inflation, all of that. And, you know, it just, yeah, I would imagine it's going to push prices down even more. So I expect, you know, BTC in the market to go down. And maybe BTC will go down 12000 or even under 10000 Maybe down to 7000 As from like optical arts. Uh, well, what do you think is going to happen to Coke prices? You know, it's going to go down. It's going to get dragged down with the market. And so you might see... Depending on how far Bitcoin gets dragged and then how long it stays... In those prices, uh, you're going to see Coke coin go down under five cents, maybe three cents, maybe touching the one point something cent. It can get that bad. It can get that bad. And so we'll, we'll see what happens, you know, because. Yeah, I mean. You can't just expect Coke coin to. Um perform better than Bitcoin. You know, that's just highly unlikely. And so I want you to think right here. If you look at the bottom, it says today, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, one year. Okay. Uh, but let's, let's, let's just look at a calculator. Okay. And look at performance. So, what's it right now? Bitcoin's low was at like $15,550 divided by what was the high? $69,000. Okay. I mean, Bitcoin went down 77.5%. Okay, from its all time side, from its all time low so far in this bear market. Let's book CoCoin. Ten cents divided by seven. CoCoin went down ninety eight point five cents. Okay, so you know you had seventy eight. 0.5 to 98.5. Well, obviously, in the bear market, CoCoin and all the other altcoins haven't outperformed Bitcoin. Yes, in a bull market, the altcoins outperform, or some of the altcoins, CoCoin, you know, outperform Bitcoin in the bull market, but we're in a bear market. So imagine now if Bitcoin goes down to even like 12,000. I would think is under 10,000 is very, very possible so Bitcoin goes down like 83.6% around what do you think is going to happen to this price yeah it's going to go under 10 cents it can even go under 5 what if Bitcoin right now is at 16,000 goes down to like 7,000 like optical arts thing is very possible in his charts that's over 50 percent but bitcoin, if bitcoin goes down another 50 percent and you see how well bitcoin performed against cocoin or the other altcoins well 50 percent you you would imagine cocoin can go down another 70 80 percent well what do you think 80 percent of 11 cents is going to be it's going to be under five cents goes into the threes twos so that's why. Um, hopefully I'm wrong, but I, I think that Bitcoin, by just looking at the charts, um, yeah, it has further down movement. 
you know, now Steve from Crypto Crew University, which I also support, um, he thinks this is a double bottom. And so we'll see, you know, optical arts thing. We still have plenty of room to go down. Uh, for me, obviously, if I put in my, if I left my buy orders from May to buy Bitcoin already down to 12,000, I would, in general, I still think we have more down movement to go. So, and I still have more reserve tether and, and cash uh, and like eToro and stuff to buy in Bitcoin when it goes, you know, what I'm thinking, like under 10,000, if it goes to those, those, you know, if the price of Bitcoin goes down even that much, I'll still have more to buy in. So, because I'm dollar cost averaging. And so that's what, that's what you want to, um, that's what I'm doing. You know, whatever you do is up to you. Right? You guys saw this. This is back in May 17th. Right, Bitcoin pre-order at twelve thousand dollars, twelve thousand seven hundred, thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand seven hundred, fourteen thousand seven hundred. My fifteen thousand seven hundred got fulfilled. My seventeen thousand got fulfilled. Right. So you guys see what my buy orders are back in May. So, and it hasn't changed. You know. So, yeah, that's just what I see. All right, hopefully I'm wrong. I don't know. Remember, I'm not your financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I am telling you what I'm doing, and I am just gave you some reasons why. That's why I expect the economy to get much worse before it gets better. And so, yeah, just work when you can work. Uh, help people when you can help is what I <laughs> would think is the best thing to do. You know, and that I'm just trying to help y'all. And... Yeah, I'm just trying to help you and be there for you like I wish I had someone be there for me back in 2018 when that bear market started. Because at least in this bear market, I'm doing a heck of a lot better than the last bear market. You know, I'm doing pretty good this bear market. And so that's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to be there and 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 um, once again... Not tell you tell you what to do, but just telling you what I'm doing. I wish I had someone telling me what they're doing. And we're pretty, you know, um, legit and pretty good on their calls. Like I've been so far for this bear market. So, yeah. Um, as always, praying for y'all in Jesus' name. God bless all of you. Um, please be spiritually, mentally, physically um, safe. Take good care of yourself. Surround yourself with the right people. And that's it, everyone. Uh, God bless you and Coke on.